Democrats. But first, just weeks before the elections, the Ohio Secretary of State has purged nearly 27,000 people from the voting rolls. Emma Henderson has what you need to know come election day. Hello to you, Emma. Hi, so it's important to note that this purge includes 85 out of the 88 counties here in the United in Ohio, with Summit County and Cuyahoga being two of the exceptions. Summit, Cuyahoga, and Lucas counties won't purge their voter rolls until after these November elections. That's because they had primaries in the past month, which didn't give the office enough time to go through the voter rolls. In Ohio, voters can be purged from the voter roll for inactivity. That's why it's important to check and make sure you're registered to vote before you head to cast your ballot. I spoke to an expert on reasons why someone's name could be removed from the voter rolls. These are done to remove from the rolls the names of voters who are inactive and likely not in the jurisdiction to vote. That can include people who have passed away, people who have moved away from the jurisdiction, people who are no longer eligible to vote. The Secretary of State's office released this statement, which reads in part, we remove inactive registrations after we've learned a voter has moved and not been active at the address for more than four years. Now, it's important to remember that as of the April elections this year, a valid ID is also required. That means a driver's license, a passport, or a military ID, and it must be current. Now, coming up tonight at 5, we'll have more about the concerns about these voter purges. Laura? All right, Emma Henderson live for us in Cleveland. Emma, thank you.